Welcome back to Electric Car Cafe. We're back with the uh, 45 Series Land Cruiser. So the car is pretty much 98% complete. Um, it's past engineering, it's about to go off a roadworthy. Um, we've got some switches and internal cosmetics to finalise. Uh, the front battery box is fully plumbed and ready to go. The second battery box is in, and um, this is going to give the customer a massive range. So um, there we go. The customer's going to put a tray on it, so it'll cover over this battery box and uh, this will be back to normal but electric. Here we go. Let's go to Jack's. So I'll probably leave the car in second or drive in third all the way to Jack's at Essendon. So that's probably about uh, 30 odd Ks, I think. So a bit about the engineering was uh, quite um, quite brutal on the car. They, uh, they did a lot of uh, 60 to zero and 100 to zero braking with the vehicle fully loaded. Um, this car was, um, when it first came out, was rated to, to, to uh, occupy three tonnes. Uh, so what they did was they loaded up the back of the vehicle and filled the, filled the uh, passenger compartment with, with people. And um, they did the zero to 60, or 60 to zero and 100 to zero braking. Um, with three tonne in this vehicle. Um, even though the rear battery box wasn't designed to take over 700 kilos of weight, um, the way we designed the rear battery box, um, it coped with that weight, no problems. You can see the car has um, a lot of sounds, um, so it's still a driving experience, it's just not a rattly, shitty diesel. I'm Michael Savazzo from Jax Tyres and Auto. Uh, I'm the head of the network in the southern region. So Jax Tyres and Auto is uh, now embarking on uh, automotive and mechanical servicing. So this is just battery and nothing else, right? I'm quite privileged to be able to work with on this vehicle today. It's, uh, I know the boys are excited to get their hands on it because it's just something completely different. The torque and power characteristics is a little bit more powerful than the original motor came out. So this isn't going to do traffic light Grand Prix, but it's, an, it's a modest upgrade from the original diesel motor. The brief from this customer is um, he wants to keep it looking as original as possible. He, wa he originally wanted the steel wheels that the car came with, but you can't get them for love or money unless you've bought some second handies and powder coated them and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we've opted for the Sunraysia look with a tall skinny tyre to make it look as stock as a rock. Um, but he wants everything to look as standard as possible and wolf and sheep's clothing type, so, so to speak. Yes. Anyway, um, so do you need a hand with anything? Because if you do, I'm going to get some lunch first. <laughs> So we've, we've actually partnered up with Tough Dog for this uh, particular project. We wanted to use a, a really good quality product on uh, not just uh, on this particular project, but just in general. They're a very well-known brand. They too are also growing in, in Australia. Lift kit specialist, but suspension parts also. Uh, steering dampers, bushes, bolts, you name it, they do it all and we've decided to go with them for this particular project as they, as they also offer a four year unlimited kilometre warranty on their, on their products. Uh, and that's with recreational use, not just road use. Uh, so today the, uh, the clients opted in a 16 inch uh, Sunraysia steel rims uh, with some uh, Dunlop tyres to, to go with it. 
It's after very much the a taller look, very much a commercial type tyre setup, which is what the vehicle is designed for. It's trying to keep its uh, originality, and hence we're putting on the uh, the white uh, steel rims and, and Dunlop tyres to suit. It's back, it's got new boots, new wheels, new suspension. So what Jacks have done is that they've fitted uh, upgraded leaves to handle the extra weight of the battery pack and also their premium adjustable shocks underneath. Um, and you'll notice the, the relatively uh, straightforward tread. So one of the features of the uh, Tough Dog suspension and the kit that we got from Jacks is the uh, greasable suspension um, improves um, the, the ride and uh, you know you can grease the shocks so they don't wear, have you much quieter ride. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also check out our sponsors who make all this possible. Without them, we wouldn't be here doing this. Many thanks. See you soon.